Now from the longtime home of the Royals, day baseball from Kauffman Stadium in Kansas City. So a moment now to take a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Detroit Tigers. Eric, who should we keep an eye on? Aaron Brooks is on the mound for game two. Eric, any thoughts? Well, remember, guys, he's a young pitcher. Brian Hurst gets his first opportunity now in the top of the first. With sent on the ground out to second. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Nothing doing here in the opening half inning. Stepping in, Brian Hurst. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Well, it's still early, but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. Hurst will stand in here to start the seventh. Get ahead here. He's been in complete control. I think you need to guard yourself from being overconfident, though. A bloop and a blast could still turn this game on its ear. Cardenas is to his left as he puts it away in the alley for the first out of the inning. You can't underestimate how important a start this is when your team's on a losing streak. Baseball now on a fine Sunday from Kauffman Stadium in Kansas City. So a moment now to take a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Detroit Tigers. Danny Duffy gets the ball for the Royals in this one. What's your tank on him, E.K.? Well, guys, you take a look at that ERA. He has not been good this year. Brian Hurst will start us off in the second inning. and Swing and a shot back up the middle. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. We'll watch the swing here and show motion. This is a sharp curveball on the inside part of the plate, but look at how he stays in there with that front side. And a lot of guys open up there, but he stays solid and rips it right back up the middle. Jimmy Goto strides forward for the first time. The loss in the opener of the series, that was a much needed win yesterday. So they can look to win this series and take two out of three if they can just take care of business here. And that's back to back Jim. hits now to start Aaron, things out in their half of the Aaron. second. They're in good shape to get on the board here and tie up the ball game. Harold Nobles will make his way in now. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. Out. Infante for one. Over to Hosmer, and it's a double play. Line toward the alley in left center. And that gets down as he can't get there in time. And to score from third is the tying run. It's one to one. Just a perfect swing right there. You'll see it head down, eyes right on the baseball all the way. Great extension. He just drives this thing into center field to score that runner from third. Brian Hurst stands in with two on and two out here in the third. Hit to first. Oh, look at Hosmer. It's in time. Woo, no problem. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. Brian Hurst will dig in here. One for two. He's singled and grounded out so far. Slow, fast, slow. EK, you thinking fastball here? It seems to fit the pattern, but... And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Down in order go the Tigers. They still trail it here three to one. Hurst will stand in to lead off the inning. Middle third of the lineup, four, five, and six as they try to get something going. Just for show there. He's not trying to throw this for a strike. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Hurst is retired, and there's one away. Yeah, that's a good pitch right there. Get some fishing for it. Then 